Welcome to SOLIDWORKS Education Steering Column Assembly Using Edit Component for Formula SAE and Formula Student Competitions. My name is Marie Planchard and I'm Director of Education Marketing and Curriculum Development for SOLIDWORKS Corp. Thank you for joining us in these series of videos. Last time, we downloaded components from 3D Content Central. Today, we're going to use one of those components in our steering assembly. The steering assembly consists of a steering wheel I obtained from 3D Content Central. It also contains a flange and upper bearing. The flange is fastened to the steering shaft. Also, there is a universal joint and lower bearing that connect to the tie rod assemblies. Let's begin. I want to create some reference geometry to help me with additional assemblies to the tie rods. First, I will insert an axis. To create an axis, click on the Reference Geometry tab, click Axis, select the top and right planes. When you mate your universal joint that will connect to the tie rods, you want to combine the axis of the universal joint to the axis of your steering assembly. I also want to introduce an angle mate. An angle mate will give me flexibility in adjusting my steering shaft. I select the plane that goes through the steering shaft and the top plane of the assembly. Click Insert Component, Browse, and select the steering wheel you downloaded from 3D Content Central. This is a mini Baja wheel, so it's pretty beefy. I'm going to create an assembly mate between my flange cylindrical face and the cylindrical face of the inside hole of the steering wheel. Concentric is selected by default. Use the Mate Align option to flip the steering wheel if required. Position the steering wheel approximately where you want it to be mated. Click the top face of the flange, click the bottom face of the steering wheel. Coincident is selected by default. The steering wheel is free to rotate, so I need to constrain geometry to one of the planes of the flange. Because I want when the steering wheel rotates for the flange to rotate, and therefore the steering column will rotate. Select on Mate. Select two planes of the steering wheel and the flange that will line up. You will also need to create a parallel mate between planes of the flange and also the steering shaft. To reference the steering hole position to the flange part, right-click on the flange, click Edit Part. Click the top face and select on Sketch. You are now in the component Universal Flange. Right-click Circle. Sketch a circle centered at the origin. I'm using the existing geometry as a guide. I want to create a hole to relieve some of the material and reduce my weight. But for lining up holes, it's more important to select on the whole circular edge. By default, you will select the face. Right-click and select Other. Right-click and select the edge. A preview will be displayed in blue. Click Convert Entities. This sketch with reference to the steering wheel has been projected onto the flange part. Repeat for the other holes Click Convert Entities each time. Select Feature, Cut. Use the option Up to Surface and select the bottom surface of my flange. Click OK. Edit Component and Edit Part are always displayed in blue in the Assembly Feature Manager. Let's open the flange and see what it looks like. The holes will be properly aligned to the steering wheel. A small, greater than sign indicates the geometry is referenced to the assembly. Let's try another feature. Edit the component in the context of the assembly. Click Edit Component from the Assembly Toolbar. Click the top face, click Sketch, click Line. Sketch a profile referencing the steering wheel geometry. Remember, you are sketching on the top face of the flange. Double-click to end the line. Click Feature, click Extrude Cut. Check Flip the Side to Cut to remove all the material outside the sketch. Now you've reduced more weight on your flange by removing material. 
It is important to realize that a plane of the steering shaft and a plane of the steering wheel must be mated coincidentally. That way, as you turn the wheel, the flange will rotate and the steering shaft will also rotate. In Baja harsh conditions, the steering mechanism is vulnerable to dirt, so I want to make a design change. I've reduced weight to the outside of my flange plate, but I want to get rid of the inside hole. Right-click on the universal flange, click Edit Part. Expand the Feature Manager and select the sketch of the Extrude Cut feature. Any sketch can be modified. I want to hide the steering wheel to get it out of my way. Again, I use the Feature Manager and Hide Component. Click on the center circle. Press the Delete key. Click Yes to delete both the sketch and the dimension. Exit the sketch. The circle and the extruded cut has been removed. Only the bolt hole pattern remains. Return to the assembly. Let's take a look at the distance mate and why I utilized a distance mate with this flange on the steering shaft. Most competitions like Formula Hybrid, Formula SAE, and Baja have specific rules about the position of the steering wheel. I want to use a distance mate between the upper flange and my steering shaft so I'm able to modify that once I get to the final assembly. In addition, the steering shaft is also a dimension that I may need to modify in the future. So having the dimension clearly displayed in the assembly is important. When you save your assembly, be sure to return to an isometric view with a full display. In the reference selection, I see that the steering assembly utilizes all of these components. Be certain to open the steering assembly first when dealing with modifying individual components. Thank you from the SolidWorks Education team. To receive sponsorship, go to SolidWorks.com FSAE.